Right now we're gonna be working on this car. It used to be white, it was on the channel. I did some engine work to it. We found a washer down inside of it. I'll put a link to it uh, in the description or maybe up in the side of the thing here somewhere. Uh, I still uh, always forget to do that and I'm sorry. But anyways, so this is a 70 914. Uh, it's not a six or anything, but it does have a wide body kit on it. And it's pretty much got a brand new paint job, gone through the engine, done everything. Uh, it, it's looking really nice. But what I want to do is it's missing something. So it's missing exhaust. These are the heat exchangers here and it needs a muffler. I have an old one kicking around that the muffler is no good. It's over here and I've got a bunch of stainless. So I'm going to use the header. We're going to clean up the header here. I think I'm going to attach it somewhere around here. Get rid of this nasty mess here. That's uh, bubble gum and I don't know what else. <laughs> and uh, we're going to put this on there. This is kind of my idea of what's going to happen here. Uh, this is going to this is going to go in place of, of this mess. And we're going to weld it all up and get it fitted on the car. This header is very difficult to make. It should weld right up to this area here, so I'll hack it here. So we get into this, and then we'll get it fitted on the car, and hopefully see how it sounds. I, I think it's gonna be pretty loud, because that muffler right there, the reason why I have them is a customer gave them to me and said they're way too loud. I don't believe them. Do you believe them? Comment below if you believe that it's gonna be too loud. I don't think it's gonna be too loud. Come on, too loud. Anyways, let's get into it. I'm about to cut into this. I'm gonna cut this off here. And then we'll have to cut this brace off. We're gonna leave the brace on there for now. I don't know if we're gonna need it. Don't worry guys, putting their 2000s on. Gotta have them. Oh, we're so close, so close. I'm just gonna clean up this metal with a wire brush. No need for you guys to watch this, but I wanna show you this. This is perfect. Fits perfect, it's gonna weld on there nice. Uh, I'm excited. Let's clean up this rusty old metal. Give it a new on life. All right, we got it cleaned up pretty good. I think, uh, got a little area underneath there. We'll get the wire brush. And we, wanna, we got the mating surface cleaned up. Got a little gasket off. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit more. But I can't really get in there. I did find some pinholing. I'm gonna weld those up, grind them back. It's pretty thin right there. But I don't wanna have to obviously make that. That's a lot of work. <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna go with this wire brush in there. You can see it's still a little crusty in there. So go get a wire brush and clean her up real good. All right. All right, I'm gonna clean this up around here, get it ready for the pipe to be welded on. I gotta get this real clean. I don't wanna weld the rust. Oh, we lost the pad. All right, that's fun. Oh, I got it off. Oh, Always disconnect your hose when you're taking off any pads or anything on these. Good way to lose a finger. All right. Oh, we do these, these little spots here. Let's get to some welds, maybe. These are all spot welded up, grinded back. No more pinholes there. Looks like new, you can barely even tell. So we're gonna move on to actually painting this up with this flame proof paint. I think it has ceramic coating in it, so it should fill in some of these holes a little bit. And I've used it before, it works really well. Even though this is a header, uh, it's made for headers. And I, I had it on a header for like 
a year and it didn't even didn't bubble or didn't even come off so it stays on pretty good the silver's nice it should match the stainless really really well i got it all prepped i'm gonna hit it with some vht flame proof look out stuff's killer I'm telling you you're gonna love it it's gonna look just amazing so let's uh shake it up shake it shake it shake it shake it, shake it, shake it. probably making you guys sick sorry and uh we're gonna oh, get the cover off all right shake it up oh sorry wrong hand i'm gonna do a, a light mist look at how well this covers i mean it covers great should be a spokesperson for this company right See how thick that goes on? It's nice. I like to mist it. Just give it a little mist. A little mist. Go crazy at first, you know? You gotta, you gotta go, you know, ease into it. Ease into it, then, then feed on it. All right. Gotta get its undercarriage, you know? Right up under there. Don't wanna miss. All right, we're gonna let this dry. We'll give it another coat. Pretty good. I got the header, just kind of, just two bolts in it right now. I just need to figure out where this is gonna sit inside of here, because if it goes in the wrong spot, it's gonna hit, and I don't want it to hit. So it's got a clear. We may have to trim this back a little bit. I think we're gonna have to see how close it is to the transmission. I don't think, we might not have enough space in there. I may need to cut it here. Just take a section out and narrow it. I think that's what we're gonna need to do. And we're gonna cut stainless and go through some blades. Yeah, we're gonna need to. If we got room this way, we got plenty of room towards me, but we just don't have a lot to the back. Yeah, we're gonna have to trim that. Take about, probably about, oh, two and a half inches out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna mark that with some tape. Okay, I got this kind of, stuck up in there. I want to see if I can get this to fit in there now. I think I'm going to have to do. I'm going to need to get a pipe. Yeah, that has to be narrow. Because <clears throat> we need a pipe that comes. I kind of want to put it like this so you can see the muffler. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, so that's got to come. Yeah, I got to take a bunch out of that. And then this will this will do uh, I'll take some out of that as well. So that will be there. So we got that pipe there, and it's too high. You can see up there. So I got to take like three inches out of that. And when I get the muffler in here, it's got to go up above that. So we need to take out a lot. I'm okay if that sits right in there. And then we'll have to trim that back because that looks goofy. I kind of want it to come out just underneath this little bump out here, right here. Almost, almost immediately when it comes out, I want it to turn. So we'll trim that, see how much we got to take out of that, trim that back and uh, see where this sits after that. Let's go over to the bench and do that. So I've changed my mind. I found these in my bin. They're two little 45s here. So. We are going to put those together, like so, and then this end is going to go like this. So this will connect to the header here, go through here, and then we're going to have a little bit of exhaust pipe here, a little extension, muffler, tailpipe. I got to weld all these together. I got to straighten this out. It's a little crooked from when I cut it last time. Got this set up here on the bench. I got it grounded. Uh, I've got all of it, all this cleaned up. 
I'm just gonna tack them here. This is pretty flat. This bench is super flat. So I'm gonna tack them here. This can obviously spin, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, and then we'll get this one here. So we just need a 90. So this should be nice and flat when we're done, and we can twist this on the end of the header. Good. I'm doing an attack over here. Alright, we're gonna run this over to the car. See how she looks? Looks good. I'm gonna finish these welds. Gonna jam that on there a little better, but I think that's what we're going for, right? About there. So this will be perfect. Right in there. Got enough room up there. Go across. Meet up with that muffler. I mean, we can go a little higher too. Tuck it in right under the heat shield. Yeah, I think I'll continue welding these up. And then we will mock up the muffler. And we're gonna put a little extension on the end of this because obviously a muffler can't fit above the header. It's gotta go down this way here. it up. Look at that. It's hot. But we got it all welded up all the way around. Those welds will clean up because that is stainless. We are going to figure out what we need to do for the muffler. We need a little bit of an extension, probably six inches or so, and then we'll put the muffler in there. Let's go figure that out. All right, let's mark this. I measured it, and it's hard to do with the camera, so I couldn't get you up in there. But we're gonna be right at 14 inches. So we're gonna mark this at 14 inches. And we're gonna cut that. And this is the piece we're gonna use. So it's a straight piece we need in there. And we'll get it tacked in there right after this. Let me cut this and we'll get this cut and get it tacked in. We're gonna weld that straight pipe on there that's gonna connect to the muffler. That I can do, I just kinda mocked it up there real quick just to make sure it's straight. So we'll get this on there, tack it, go check it. put it up against the car and see how it looks. This is where we're at. Just sit there and the tailpipe's gonna come out right over here. I'm gonna get this tacked in so we can hold it in place. We'll bring it over the bench and weld it. I think it's gonna look real nice. I wish the whole thing was stainless, but that's tricky to build and I think this is gonna be just fine. Got this all cleaned up, ready to weld to it. We got the the little curved piece we made. We go right there, on there, right there. We'll tack it when we get the muffler in the right spot. I'm gonna get you guys set up over here. I need both my hands to do this. I actually need a third hand. Anybody wanna help? <laughs> I need one of those ones that comes off the back of my neck. That'd be perfect. <laughs> All right, hold on one second. I 
think this looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Comment below and tell me what you think. Let's take it off, get it over the bench, and finish welding all this. So it looks nice instead of that ugly piece that everyone's gonna see. We're gonna grind that down and redo that. go home that night it was getting late but it's the next day and uh yeah i, I got a haircut dad joke i got them all cut <laughs> anyways i haven't done one of those in a while maybe at the end wait till the end for a good dad joke do it oh i've got good ones all right so let's spin you around here this is where we're at it's all welded up and solid this is all i use that ceramic coat paint bhg flame proof look out I'm gonna bend this over to hold this because this is really, once you get it on the car, it seems to be a little floppy. Because this, the only thing holding it is right here. So I think once you get this bolted up, I should be able to bend this over. Just kind of tweak it and we'll nip it off and just tack it right on the back side of this. So I don't want it here, it'll look terrible. But what I need to do now is I need to get a tailpipe on. What I'm gonna use is this bad boy right here. I can't wait to see what this sound like. Tell me what you think, comment below if you're excited about this sound of this exhaust. I think it's gonna sound awesome. Uh, watch it be dead silent, right? <laughs> here. This goes inside this. So we're gonna it. There we go. Get it in there. Really, it should probably go over it, but uh, it's okay. I'm gonna weld that up nice so it won't leak. Better flow if you go over, obviously, but I'm not too concerned about that. So what I need to do is nip this down to about here and then leave a little bit, obviously, of the straight part here. We want it to turn like immediately out of here. I'll probably leave about that much or so so we can get that much into the end here. Let's give that a cut. All right, got this cut off. And now we just gotta figure out where we're gonna sit this on the car. All right, got this up here and I put this in at first and it was like way too low and sticks out funny. So I had a little pie cut from a leftover project. So I put that in there and I like how that's tucked up there a lot better up against that. I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna cut this pipe back just a touch, probably to maybe there. That way it sits in a little closer. So it's more here than out here and it won't look as goofy. So we'll do a little turn like that get those welded in the welds will look cool anyways <laughs> and like i said nip about two inches off the end of that and that should uh, do it all right let's go do that so i got the little tailpipe made sorry i got the grinder on i'm trying to trying to level this out a little bit this is the end of the tailpipe and you can see it's a little angled so i think i'm gonna take got this kind of all polished up because this is going to be the tailpipe uh, we want it to look good but it looks like we get that in the right spot right there nice and level 
see if we get it right out there. And that, I think that looks good. What do you guys think? Comment below, what do you think? And we just gotta tack that up and then we'll bring it over to the bench and fully weld it. All right, let's tack this up. Shouldn't put the tack there. Put it in the back where no one can see it, right? All right, get that tacked in. Now, we gotta get pretty perfect here. Down a little bit, right about there. Beautiful. I'm happy with that. I think once this gets bolted in there, it should be good. What do you guys think? Looks good? I'll go with that. A little tack back here. All right, that's not going anywhere. Pull it down, bring it to the bench, and we'll fully weld it. she is just gotta clean it up a little bit and clean up around here get rid of this spatter and polish it up like we did the tailpipe that's all we're gonna go is that far with the tailpipe and we gotta weld this to that because this obviously a little we'll hit the <laughs> so I gotta get that to pry right about there just gonna bend her over Oh, we just use a hammer. Professional! It's hammer time! Perfect. Well done. Well done, kids. And we'll uh, nip it off right about there. Let's make So what I'm doing right now is I'm cleaning up this stainless. You can see this hasn't been cleaned up yet. The other side, I cleaned this up a little bit. I'm using uh, thousand grit, uh, wet sandpaper. I'm not wet sanding it, but I am using thousand grit. Scuffing it up. And then we're gonna polish it out. See the other side here, I haven't touched that yet. How much duller it is. I haven't done this side yet, or this. These are already polished, so we'll get those to match. I'll just scuff those up a little bit so they match. I don't want it mirror. I think that's too Honda tuner car. <laughs> I just want it a nice stainless finish, like that one there. Like I said, all I'm using is 1,000 grit sandpaper and just going to town. Don't do circular motions. <laughs> you can go back and forth, up and down, but yeah. And then we'll buff it out. Use a little 3M compound, clean it up. There you go. And then I have some stainless polish I can use too. All right, we're gonna keep doing that. I don't think you guys need to see that. Uh, I'll show you me buffing it out a little bit towards the end here. Okay. This is just scuffed up the thousand grit. I haven't polished it yet, but you can tell it's a lot cleaner. Really getting the muffler really nice. I don't want to go chrome finish. I think I'm a little bit more than that and should be pretty happy. I'm just trying to get this to match this. It's getting close. All right, I'm going to give it a polish. I'm going to use the, uh, the 3M on here with the uh, wool polishing pad. And we might go to something foam later, but we'll see what see what this does. Let's clean her up. Under two thousands engaged.
Not a mirror finish, but that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna keep going with this on the rest of the exhaust, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. We got this uh, all polished up, ready to go on the car. Back of these, all cleaned up as well. And I straightened them out. They were a little bent, probably from just tightening up the bolts on it. I cleaned up the heat shield as well. It just looked kind of ratty. Uh, I actually polished one of the, uh, these are all stainless. I polished one of the heat exchangers. You can see the difference there to there. <laughs> so I'll get this one when I'm done. I just wanted to see what it looked like. But uh, let's get that exhaust on there. We're gonna get gaskets. What do you guys think? You like it? Question is, what's it sound like? That looks pretty good. To get it down on the ground, might look even better. I like it. Let's see what she sounds like. Brum brum. Did you guys get some fire? Did you get some flames? I hope so. Woo! Smoky in here. All right, we got her pulled outside. Looks pretty out here. Brand new paint on this car, so. Rip it. 